Hello, welcome to Kato Salty's Pet Food Reviews. I only ever do this for ads that are targeted to me. Like if you're going to target ads to me, I'm going to go check out your food and what's in it and I'm going to talk about it. And as I always say, I'm not going to name and shame the brands. You can find this information yourself um, and I encourage you to do so. Um, so I just want to talk a little bit about, because this is a really good one for talking about how the food is marketed versus what is actually in it. So this one actually makes me laugh. It's got like for mind, body, spirit, superfoods and ancient grains, yada, 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 right? So for mind, it's the um, MCT. We use MCT oil in our um, foods, really good. Um, so that one's to feed the mind. So for to nourish body and brain. Yep, yep, really good for body. Um, quality hormone free chicken. 80% protein from meat. Yep, yep, yep. Really good. Um, for spirit, uh, full of antioxidants, blah, blah, blah. Yep, great. Superfoods and ancient grains. Uh, so the superfoods are blueberries, cranberries, turmeric, apple, tomato, sorghum. Sorghum sounds like a cheap pillar to me. Uh, chia seeds, chickpeas. Mm, one of my favorite cheap fillers it's not really one of my favorites it's just always there all right so those are all the things that the like marketing things that it talks about right but then if we go to the ingredients um first ingredient is not actual chicken it's chicken meal so there's your first big red flag second ingredient second ingredient is sorghum go google what sorghum is and um you tell me if it's suitable to be the majority of what your dog eats. Um, it's not. A third ingredient, and this is probably the only good thing about this food, is the third ingredient is salmon. And it's not meal, apparently. So that's good. It's got a, a reasonable, I imagine, amount of salmon. Although it probably doesn't. I would say, like, if I was guessing, it's probably like... I don't know, 40% chicken meal, which is yuck, and then maybe another 20% sorghum. So what's that, 60%? And then maybe you get like 5 10% salmon? I don't know. Then comes all our cheap fillers. So we've got our chickpeas and field peas next. Um, chicken fat, which they always throw in there. Um, and then the MCT, so that's great, but it's like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh ingredient after all those others. I doubt there's very much chicken gravy. Um, it's got some oils in there. And then comes our superfoods, very last on the list, um, basically. So the superfoods, which is the blueberry, chia seeds, cranberries, apple, tomato, turmeric. Um, yeah, last on the list. So I would hazard a guess to say that not much of those superfoods in there at all. Like barely worth mentioning. Um, and that's without even like going into the whole, it being highly processed and so on. Um, yeah. So again, if you feed dry food, um, or any food really, you should look at the ingredients. Um, and this doesn't actually state percentages. So, um, yeah, it's mostly chicken meal and sorghum which is crap and yeah, for mind, body and spirit, lol.